cashews. This has officially begun. 48, 72 hours. Which one do you think we're doing? Uh, my my heart says 72. Me too. All right. I say we 10x our fucking goals so that we at least do something slightly impressive. So let's go for fucking 80 hours, and then hopefully we'll get at least 48. 108 it is. <laughs> Not much more to go. Dude, we're 22 seconds in. I want my fucking trophy. I like this perspective up here. Look at this. What is that? Oh, Oy. that's this terrible. What we're feeding to our geese out here. That is just improper and most Man. likely deadly. Speaking of deadly, this tree is looking a little thinner than last time, and along with this river and just this general location is looking a little bit more snapped up, to put it poetically. <laughs> this doesn't look like the video I saw the other day. I'll say that much. So here we are, part two, beard slightly longer, and finally brought someone who could adapt to nature I'm and adapting. just walk over the log. Anthony could not walk over that log. It was, it was a damn shame. And at this point, we're almost racking in 24 hours in this fast. How much time is left? Let's see that timer. Phone's over there. Oh. This forest does look a lot more snapped compared to last time. Like, there's been crazy winds around here. Like, apparently some gas station nearby literally had the roof blown off. Um, mm. The past few days, it's been nothing but silence and peace. <laughs> Watch this thing just fucking collapse in. I mean, yank it. All out. I'm glad we came out here. I'm feeling good out in this nature. No Same. hunger, pains, nothing. I, I, I say you can get along with nature, not, not berate it. I need somewhere in the middle of you and Anthony. This is too much. <laughs> Just a simple little fucking... I love nature. Why don't you look at that? Thank you for forgiving me for ripping that off tree. This tree has uh, bestowed upon me the power to balance, as you can see. But it is asking me not to take this any further. All right, so it's 1.18 uh, p.m. right now. So I'm going to bed. And basically, as you guys saw, that I'm doing a, another attempt at 72-hour fast for this video. And one of the main reasons for that is, is for the past, I'd say maybe like one or two weeks, I've just been feeling worse and worse and worse in a specific type of way. What I mean by that is, before this quarantine happened, I was just all over the place doing a bunch of different things, seeing a bunch of different people, just living my life right. And then since the quarantine started, I haven't really been able to do anything other than literally just isolate myself in my house. And luckily, thankfully, I have like a gym that I can work out and I have like a sauna back there that I've kind of been like supersetting to keep my sanity afloat. And so I basically just reverted back to just a form of training, but I, I basically reverted back to almost like my high school lifestyle in terms of just waking up, you know, eating, like shoveling food down my throat, watching TV shows and lifting and then watching more stuff and eating more food, going to bed and just repeating, right? And just being just driven, driven, focus, focus, focus every day. And it was a really cool, nostalgic type of feeling to just re-experience that and just be so just almost animalistically focused towards my workout every single day where before the quarantine happened, there was just so much going on that I couldn't like prioritize lifting just as much. There's so many different things happening. Now it's like, okay, what else am I gonna do other than lift? And that was cool. And part of doing that, it just involved just shoveling down a bunch of food and a lot of the food just wasn't the cleanest. And as you guys know, um, if you watch my earlier videos that I basically built a large uh, amount of my physique on just like junk food or just say shittier, inferior food. And that, you know, that grew me because it had a lot of calories and calories are the main thing that's going to dictate growth. But I didn't have anything to contrast that with, say, a cleaner style of eating and what that does for you in terms of how you feel. And I'd say over the past few years, maybe like one or two, I've been way more conscious of what I've been eating and been 
consciously choosing to eat healthier, not just to superfic superficially look better, but to actually just like feel all around better. And if I look better because of that, that's just a great byproduct, a nice little cherry on top. So I've been eating a lot cleaner and I just been like, wow, I just feel so much better. I have more energy throughout the day. Like I'm way sharper. I'm, I'm, I just felt all around so much better. And when I started doing fast here and there, like anywhere from a 24 to 72 hour fast, I was like, fuck, wow. I feel like, like, in, like the first time I did it, it was just great. It really reset me in many, many different ways. So basically what I'm getting to now is just due to this quarantine, just being very like lethargic, just eating, eating, eating and eating and eating. I just noticed myself just becoming so much slower, groggier and just vibrating. It's just so low. And I just noticed that like, I, I could be speaking to someone, I could be watching someone. I just, just cannot pay attention like as well. Or literally if I'm speaking normally, I just open my mouth and just everything just comes out how it's supposed to. But now I'm just like, actually trying to fish for words, trying to figure out what I'm trying to say. And just overall, I just, I just feel like my quality, my consciousness is just fucking just downgraded and lowered. So I decided, all right, you know what? We're gonna do a hard reset. We're gonna do an attempted 72 hour fast. 48 at the minimum, 72 is what I strive to get because I've never actually been able to successfully get that. And aside from just the cognitive um, enhancements from fasting, I just noticed, uh, I just been getting just like inflammation, just, Basically, I've just been training really hard, eating a lot of food. I want to recover. I want to rest. I just want to reset. That's the extremely oversimplified gist of why I'm doing this fast. And my friend Jeff's staying here. Anthony's staying here. The reason Anthony's staying here, I don't know if I mentioned or not, is that he doesn't have a gym to train at. He's got a pro show coming up. Um, so he needs a place to train at and also enjoy his company. I also enjoy my friend Jeff's company. So the three of us are just hanging out killing time together. So as you guys saw in the beginning of the video, setting the timer for the beginning of the fast, and I'd say for the first probably 24 hours, it just felt just terrible. And I was like, this shit's just not working. Like, I don't feel, I just feel terrible. But literally in the past hour or so, I've just been like, just reinvigorated with energy. I can form my sentences correctly. Now I'm just so hyper aware of everything that's going on around me. I can just, I just feel exactly I'm supposed to again swipe off from my fasting ebook. Just kidding. There's no fucking ebook. You just stop eating. But yeah. Also, I ordered this on Amazon. Luckily, just came in today. I just searched fasting sauce and I ordered one of the first things that I saw. And this is just pretty much uh, magnesium, sodium, and potassium. Just that because when you're fasting, people debate this on and off. Like, oh, like can you have tea? Can you have coffee? Can you have? And it's super debatable. You can make strong arguments for either or. In my opinion, at least the way that I like to do it, I don't mind a cup of coffee black of course or some hot tea during my fast along with water because that's pretty much all you could have but it's also very important to get your minerals in which is why i'm using these these are just fasting salts so you might need some potassium because last thing you want is just like faint <laughs> last thing you want is to faint due to like an electrolyte imbalance or deficiency and just fall crack your head it's not a good situation so overall it's good to have salts that'll keep headaches away just the things you do so i'm going to be taking like a little scoop of that and yeah, I just wanted to, I didn't know how this video was going to play out. I was like, all right, I'm doing a 72 hour fast. I'm just going to record it again. And up until now, I haven't really recorded anything besides me and Jeff just screwing around in the, um, in the local park just to kill time and just, you know, something fun to do. So I'm just starting to speak now because I could finally form coherent sentences. And yeah, I'm just going to pretty much vlog the rest of the fast. So yeah, I'm going to stay up a little bit, probably go to bed at like 4 or 5 p.m. and wake up really early, try to reset the sleep schedule because all three of our schedules have been fucking fucked. So that's that. I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to take my fasting salts and I'm going to wash these turkeys. Just do their thing. So woke up at 11 p.m. Jeff woke up a few hours before me. He's... uh. How's that? How's that Litecoin doing? A uh, few, few hundred down. I'm not feeling too great physically, mentally, but uh, I'm trying to hang in there. Yeah, Jeff's unfortunately having a rough situation. He's recently heavily dabbling into the stock market. He's becoming... So basically, Jeff's not feeling the best right now for multiple reasons. One, Litecoin's not doing too well. Two, He's getting like cold chills throughout his body, just crippling depression and just terrible anxiety. He's just not feeling the best. That's typically how I felt. Most of the times I've done a fast at certain points, particularly yesterday, I feel fine now. And we're actually 43 
hours in. Soon it's gonna be 48. You think about tapping at 48, pal? I'm probably gonna tap it at 48, have some bone broth with coconut oil. Cause I've never felt this bad in the past. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. We all have a decent amount of toxins in our system, unless you're Mother Teresa, right? So when you're completely removing all food from your body, not eating, a lot of the toxins just built up in the fat and just all around the body just get slapped, fluttered into the bloodstream, and that could just make you feel really shitty, really lethargic. That's one thing. Two, when I did my initial fast, for the reasons that, I, like I just said, I wasn't eating the best, and then I started doing the fast, a lot of toxins go in the blood, and also, my physical activity was literally through the roof. Like, I was not even sleeping that much every night, because I would wake up to do, like, yoga at 5 a.m., and some days I'd do it two days in a row, so I was doing, like, hot yoga every single day, just, like, sweating out all my electrolytes, and I wasn't the best with reabsorbing new electrolytes because all I would do is like maybe sprinkle a little bit of salt in my mouth and that's just sodium I wasn't getting any potassium and I wasn't getting any magnesium in so my physical exertion was just through the roof and I eventually got to the point where I literally felt like I'm shutting down my body's dying it's not even like a hunger feeling it's like if I don't put food in my mouth now I'm literally gonna be deceased and this is just an executive decision to survive right not like a panicky oh, I'm hungry I'm gonna eat but this time around I'm almost 48 hours in and I feel fantastic and I think that's because I was eating clean the last few days going into this fast. My body fat percentage is definitely way higher and my physical exertion has been pretty damn low which I'm going to fix right now by doing a little bit of pull ups and push ups to get some blood flow just burning any remaining glycogen really checkmate myself into that ketosis ketogenic state and these have been coming in like really 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 good. Um, I just feel great. I feel like the second I drink them, I just absorb all the electrolytes. Feel great, all the minerals. So, yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of push-ups, some pull-ups. So I'm pretty much flat as a bone right now. If that even makes sense. Um, still holding a decent bit of uh, water. Got a package from uh, Gymshark the other day. It's the Legacy Premium line, right? And here's just one of the things, just a pair of pants. Uh, I know there's this color and there's a pure black color and they look really, really, really good. It's a nice, just clean, loose. Hey. 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 took quite a while. <laughs> Jeff, you just need a little bit more coffee, a couple push-ups, a couple pull-ups, and I'm telling you, you'll be, you'll be, I you'll be strong. Like I haven't lived in a home for a couple <laughs> of years. Nice hot shower, shave, and uh, maybe a little more coffee, and then. Maybe some fucking food. But as I was saying, um, this is part of the Legacy Premium line. It's real nice. They have a nice hoodie to complement it. And a few t-shirts. Actually, I'm going to go get those t-shirts right now. So this is that shirt that I was talking about. It has a pretty nice fit. So, this is from that Legacy Premium line I was just mentioning. And what I like about it is, I noticed that shirts that are kind of tight around the neck and go higher up for some weird reason. Just, you know, sit on the body just right, make you look decent. So we look in the mirror right here. It's pretty much the shirt. It has a, uh, like a thick just texture to it. It's not like flimsy or feel like it's a synthetic material. It's very, what's the word? Cotton. Mm. Listen, Ted. <laughs> Ted Bundy. You think you beat me at ping pong? I know I can. No, you can't. Yo, you know how they say you're supposed to have extreme mental clarity during the <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling too. How long? When does that start? That starts after the shower, another cup of coffee, a couple pull ups. Alright. If it doesn't, I'm eating a fucking hot pocket after. <laughs> An in shadow corporate hot pocket. But anyway, as I was saying, this is some of the items from the new Lexi Premium line. By the time I upload this video, it's probably live, but we'll be live in the next few days. And Gymshark also just recently released, I don't know if there's any in stock left, just a revampification of their classic Legacy line with some new colors. Here's a hoodie that you see right there with that good old nostalgic Legacy logo. You look you want to play some goddamn ping pong, Anthony. You can't you can't handle it. I'm in a fast and say I have superhuman fucking abilities right now. You're a mere mortal, just like a lethargic, clogged up gut, microbiome snap like it's just not going to turn out well for you, pal.
Jeff, you tapping out, pal? It's time to call it. We're at 48 hours. I can't take any longer. This is a PR for me, so how about we do 72 some other time? I'm gonna do it this time. That's it right there. Let me see it. Okay, two minutes. Wow, you're a fraud all around. I don't have any appetite. I'm feeling fantastic right now. But Jeff, he's gonna be having a little bit of a Bone broth. I get upset when I see you have zero. What's what's the whole deal with you having about five forks and spoons to it's, your entire family? It's a story that would take four and a half okay. podcasts to explain. All right, guys. So here we have some fucking bone broth, homestyle savory chicken. Now I typically prefer beef because beef cow bones actually have more collagen, which is an important part of this. So uh, we're just heating it up and we're gonna add some coconut oil. Now this is the most optimal thing to consume post fast because it's chock full of collagen. Now, when you fast, the mucosal lining in your gut gets all dried out and crinkly, not optimal to digest any sort of food. And uh, this collagen is gonna just straight up rehydrate it, reinvigorate <laughs> your mucosal lining. And not only Scapel that, it? it's gonna spackle up any holes <laughs> Literally stack up any holes in your mucosal I got, I, we, we all got a lot of holes, just straight yeah. bullet wounds. Straight leaky gut. I don't think we have any of those issues, but the collagen's definitely optimal. So we're gonna take about a teaspoon. Is that a tablespoon? I kind of don't pay attention, <laughs> but that's a good amount. Well, you can make it to 72, so it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah, I, I still haven't broken it yet. I might decide a minute here if we're gonna keep going. <laughs> now, not only that, Coconut oil contains something called lauric acid, uh, which converts to monolaurin in the body, and that basically is going to help kill some of the bad gram-negative bacteria in your gut that can build up over a fast when you're not fucking eating anything. Super optimal. You drink this, your gut's going to feel super reinvigorated, ready for any <laughs> meal to throw at it. And we are going to throw a good belly shot on top of this. I know you're not a fan, though. How do you feel at this exact moment? Do you I'm feel just... so I, f I still feel not so great, but I'm just so... We feel slightly better, though. I feel slightly better because my psyche is completely aware that I'm getting food soon. If you spill a drop, my gut is in serious damage. Epic. Right here we have a steaming jar of gut restoration. Can you enlighten me on, as to the fact as to why this rice just doesn't look as, like, perfect as when you, when you put the rice and the water in? Did uh, I do something wrong? He said it to Jasmine. Not brown. Can you tell me why there's like two rice settings over on the left side and then it's like sushi, porridge, sweet. Oh, brown's over here. You don't really see it though. <laughs> like what? The last meal we ate before starting the fast was a little bit of steak, some white rice and some sweet potato. And, and avocado, right? I had avocado. In mine. And Jeff had avocado. Maybe that's the reason. <laughs> and then I, <laughs> the next morning, I defecated like a proper, healthily oriented individual, and death, and death, and defecate still hasn't Jeffed yet. My body's hanging on for dear life to these last calories because it knows it's not getting any anytime soon. I can't remember the last time I was this excited to eat. <sighs> wow, that looks great. You gonna smell it, bud? Don't eat the rice first. Eat like. I'm getting all three, man. Full spectrum. All right. Bite. Full spectrum bite. Fuck, that steak looks good. That's proper. That's exactly what I needed. Wow. Shit's like already cooling down. Just finding more excuses to complain about. Like, come on. How do you feel? I'm relieved that this shit's over with. Hot bagels? <laughs> Maybe. Don't tell them though. Cut this shit out. No cheese. There is yep, no no. Two, please. Thank you so much. What did Becky say? Becky basically said there's no Parmesan bagels. Not that I'm eating bagels. I don't eat gluten after a fast. We're not going to eat bagels or anything. It's for your friend, right? Yeah, it's for uh, Anthony mm -hmm. for his prep. Whoa! I mean, uh, yeah, this Well, is... that smells great. Yeah, Anthony's going to love this. I don't eat gluten. Oh, that shit's looking real good. I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> Gluten's definitely 
actually slightly fraudulent. I don't know why, but that's what my gut's telling me. This light fucking. Seventy two, baby. Fifteen minutes out. It's time. Yeah, I'm gonna heat it up. Ignore my uh, hair misbehavior. It's currently auditioning for different styles. First things first, I'm gonna warm up some chicken savory bone broth. Put a spoon of coconut oil in there. I'm gonna drink that, let that sit for like 20 minutes. And then I'm probably gonna cook some beef, right? A little bit of rice that's in that cooker. Maybe eat like an avocado. And then maybe a little bit of rice and um, eggs after. And I'm not that hungry right now, but I'm definitely gonna enjoy the shit out of this food. And my overall cravings to like, just sugar and sweets, it's definitely subsided. Like, I'd much more just enjoy like whole healthy food right now rather than some process like a cookie or some shit like that, which is nice, because I remember there was a point when I was like really into all the fasts and eating healthy, which I fell off recently, that I just did not crave shit food like at all. And I could see myself returning to the state as Jeff returns to the kitchen. Well, Henry, you excited to eat? Very healthy fat. Your brain is gonna feed off fats. The MCTs, medium chain triglyceride, fatty acids in that are rapidly absorbed right, they basically bypass your intestines, they're absorbed right into the portal vein, go straight to your liver to satiate your liver, which is definitely lacking nutrients right now. <laughs> it's also gonna feed your brain. Uh, it also has lark acid, which converts to monolaurin in the body, and that's gonna kill some of the bad gram-negative bacteria that may be building up in your gut. I got a little bit. Yeah, I feel something. <laughs> that's about it, dude. You'll see the ch chunks of collagen, the gut spackling material. Oh, it just smells so good. I feel like anything's gonna spell, smell good to you right now. There it is. Yeah. You saw that. It'll break up once this it's bullshit. heated up. That's collagen right there. You want that. God damn it, I do want that. There's just this feeling of just love just coursing throughout my whole body. So I just let that bone broth and coconut oil scapple up my stomach and just kind of sit there and marinate for a bit. I'm gonna wait and then I'm gonna eat this meal right here. Very slowly, a little beef, a little rice, a little avocado, a little Jeff. Scapple is like a surgical tool that like fucking cuts things over. Spackle, that's the word. Vitamin C. All right, so before I completely end the video, I just want to mention a pretty cool opportunity for anyone that's a content creator, video creator, anyone who basically just wants to take their color grading to the next stratosphere or just the next level. And what that is, is basically there's a LUT pack out, and for those of you who don't know what a LUT is, a LUT is basically 
a really advanced filter that goes over your videos that changes the look of it entirely. So it's not like a global filter where it just changes all the footage the same way, like shifts it to a certain color or the other. It goes in and disproportionately changes all the colors in some weird, funky, magical way that just makes your shit look amazing. So there's like cinematic, lots of vibrant, lots of blah, blah, blah. It's in a very, uh, I don't know, integral, crucial part of the editing process. It's not crucial, you can get any look you want manually, but it's just a really quick shortcut to get really cool looking footage. But anyway, you guys have probably bought lots, downloaded lots, etc. And some of the greatest content creators online, for example, people like Sam Calder, Matt Como, like over 25 really dope creators, um, put all their best LUTs into one LUT pack they can buy online for 70 bucks and it's only gonna be available at this point for like three or four or five more days and after that it's gonna go off the internet. So if you guys wanna check that out, it'll be one of the links in the description. And yeah, just thought I'd put that out there. If you guys wanna have just violently elite looking, hyper saturated dragon unicorn blood colors, link in the description.